finally a movie we've been all waiting for where we put a bunch of women in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that not what it is? It's Hell's Kitchen, folks, but in reality, it was, for me, kind of hell sitting through this movie. You had a completely different feeling. It wasn't that it was, like, horrible or really terrible. I just found it bland. Okay, well, it was good because, for me, it was good yeah. because the acting was good, and... I wanted to follow the ride of the plot to see how they were going to achieve what they're going to achieve. But it seemed very superficial. It's superficial and there no real payoff for getting where they got. Suddenly she's tough and suddenly she's turning on everybody. Suddenly the other girl is a murderer really quickly. No problem at all. It's just it like it just turned around was, so easy. Yeah, it was like one of those musical montage things where everybody's going shopping and then you're in the changing room changing clothes and then boom you're a mob boss. Oh and by the way, since it's a whim it's a movie about women becoming crime bosses, they have to have a dance montage. They have to dance in it for some reason. What the like out of, out of all the things out of place in this movie, them dancing during that montage was like what? Well, they were reveling in their success. Yeah, but they were reveling in other parts. They were having the money. They were spending their money on other places. They were running the crew. And then they were dancing. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, like, come on. I, I liked Melissa McCarthy's character. I think she did a good job. And the brains of the operation, although we don't see her doing any brainy things, we're just supposed to assume that she's brainy. There I, was, but th there was no revelation of anything. Um... We're taking over now, and the guys, the criminals, the leaders of the area, were like the dumbest schmoes in the world. Well, There's no way these people were running a criminal organization at any point. Well, okay, well, their actions may have been dumb, but they weren't played dumb. Like, the characters themselves were played well, but dumb. Well, you would think that they would react differently in real life, but... The actors did their job well. They did, but they play... Every character that wasn't the three main characters in this story, other than the one love interest guy, were complete morons yes. in this movie. And every single one of them. I'm guessing this is why the three women had such an easy time becoming mob bosses. It's just... Oh, my... <laughs> now, I believed it was 1978 Hell's Kitchen. It, like, the area seemed... Okay. Great. Now, now, now picture this. New York, they're fighting back and forth. Different gr gang elements. We have the Irish fighting the Italians, fighting the blacks, etc., etc. The Irish mob in this instance were run by a complete bunch of morons <laughs> who did not even realize somebody had taken over their turf for like a week and a half. Which is why they're no longer the, the mob kings of that area. So, And they set it up when they're taking it over. Spoiler alert, they take it over. They, they When they take it over, there's this big animosity. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna let you take it over. You shut up and we're, you know, you better start locking your doors because we're coming after you. And then the leader of the crime boss killed it's yeah. It's a, killed, killed by a person we haven't seen in the movie yet. <laughs> that was his introduction. Dum, 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 hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm a new person. Introduce you. And he's the only other competent person in the whole movie, other than the Italian boss. Okay, so oh. it was like the movie was written by a first-time writer who had lots of good ideas, but didn't know how to add any depth into anything. <laughs> I, I have a story about crime bosses. Good idea. All right, now how do I do it? I have no idea. That's, that's the way this movie came across to me. There was no real payoff for anything they did. There was no real build up to the take. All of a sudden they just took over. They just, they just took over. Um, we want you to start paying us protection money. 
in case of the, instead of them. Why? Well, I know somebody in the immigration office who can get your nail person a green card. Okay, here's our money. That was it. And suddenly there's a montage of everyone giving them money. And guess what? The crime bosses that are there didn't notice. They didn't notice they didn't have any more money coming in. Oh my goodness. Like, okay. Okay. That's what I really think. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Yeah. There's no real payoffs. You don't really see how much gets accomplished, but the acting is okay. Except for Haddish's character. Like, I wanted her to bite me because I didn't like her very much. She started off okay, but then she really got on my nerves because all of a sudden she's this cocky, arrogant... Bleh. Cocky, arrogant, backstabbing, non-trusting... But Elizabeth but, Moss. But didn't... didn't earn it. No, she just... It's she, just all of a sudden that was her, her now, all of a sudden. Changed. Like, overnight. Uh, but Elizabeth Moss's character was great. I thought she was endearing. Okay. She had an evolution going. Well, her she, romance with Gabriel, that was awesome. The guy who randomly shows up and kills the crime boss. Hey, there were some good moments of this movie, <laughs> but should you go pay full price to see this movie? Oh, hell no. Well, when your only <laughs> other option is Dora the Explorer, hey, maybe. Stay tuned for that, because I went and saw Dora the Explorer, and I enjoyed it way more than I enjoyed it. That's this why movie. you should trust anything he said. Absolutely. Okay, and guess so. what? Check the audience scores too, because I bet you the audience scores are more favorable for Dora than they're going to be well, for this. Well, yes, because everybody is going to pile on Melissa McCarthy. That's just the trend no, now. Yeah, but you know, we were, we've been waiting for Melissa McCarthy to get away from her slapstick humor. Get away from movies like The Boss and The Ghostbusters. Actually do a drama again and become the actress we know she can be. This is her this is her Jim Carrey moment. Yes, except it doesn't it it falls so flat. Like the movie itself falls flat. Like she's she does what she can, everybody does what they can. But it wasn't her. It yeah, maybe it was the writing. Yeah. But Melissa McCarthy did a good turn in this film for what it was. But it's not gonna turn her career back around from everyone. But it, it on stopped her. her from putting out another comedic bomb. Except, guess what? I bet you this one does less money than the comedic bombs. Yes. <laughs> so it's not going to help her career at all, um, unfortunately. I was really hoping this would turn it around because we know she's a better actress than we've seen in the last three and four years. Yes. I like her, but her projects have been going down. Very, now. very poor. Um, my trouble with this, I almost, you know, Tiffany Haddish seemed completely out of place in this movie. Completely. And it just, that's what I felt about this whole movie. Everybody seemed missed cast a little bit. Like, I, like I, so. I, I didn't love the characters. Because I, I, I guess this movie should have actually been like 15, 20 minutes longer. Because they didn't show us enough to build to where they were trying to get to. Well, one of the problems with this movie is that the people that you're supposed to cheer for, the three women, are actually criminals. So are you supposed to cheer for criminals? Well, there's a conflict there. So you can't really become too invested in the people you're supposed to become invested in. Yeah. Now, this is not a full-blown, we are women kind of movie. However, what I'm gonna say, every man in the movie is a bleeding moron, a wife beater, a murderer, or a rapist. Every single one in this movie. There's not a nice person her in father, this movie. Her father was okay. He's a good chap. A father. There's 7,000 men in this movie. You said everyone. And there's three women. Oh, and by the way, the, the Italian mob boss's wife, very nice lady as well. She, like, looks after like her. she looks after her kids and everything for them. When she was awesome. She was the best character in the movie. They're rivals <laughs> in gang bosses, but I'll babysit your kids for you and look. This guy... This is what I just, it just, it left me flat. This whole movie left me flat. I kept on saying, okay, it's going to get better near the end. It's going to get better near the end. And the ending, <laughs> he looks at me and he goes, uh, is that how they're ending it? And I'm going, that's how they ended yeah, the it. And the ending comes like this, boom. And then it's this music that's really faint and like, it's not bah, 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 to get you pumped up that you just saw a good movie. It's like, wait, I think they're playing a song there. Is that the end? What do we? Yeah. Are, are we supposed to sit here some more? <laughs> and it's the most. They like. It's like they put the song. It, all, the whole movie's on nine, 
and then for the final ending song, they put it on two. And so you're sitting here listening to go, what? Basically, you could hear everybody saying, what? what? What's going What's on? Go is that the end? <laughs> is, there, is there going to be more? Not only that, not only that, they try and do this big epic moment speech at the end. And here's, here's, here's the speech. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. They turn around to all the guys, get out of our way. And that's the ending of the movie. That's the ending of the movie. They were just about to kill each other. So are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you that one. It's I'll give you that dumb, one. dumb. So like it, competent actors, I think they were misused as far as the script and the story is concerned. I did not, I, I thought the story could have been really good. Unfortunately for me, it wasn't. This is a decent Netflix movie. But I get, you know what? Skip, skip, skip. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. You're going to skip a lot because a lot of it is dull. Absolute, uh, you know, a four minute montage of them walking around collecting money. That's a little excessive. But don't, don't worry because they dance. So what would you give this movie out of 10? You called it at the beginning. You said a five. <laughs> it, it was about a five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe five and a half. No, five. Okay, five. It was. Eh. If I didn't see this in the theater, I wouldn't care. If I never see it again, I wouldn't care. Unfortunately, that's what this movie meant. But at least I saw Dora. <laughs> <laughs>